Hi, everybody. This is a wee bit of alchemy. I'm Rick Barrett. Welcome. First question that came up is what to do about allergies. We're entering into an allergy season. And uh, just like to speak briefly about that, because in general, allergies are a the body's response to a perceived challenge from the environment. And so it uh, usually there's a histamine response and and it it's your body saying attackers are coming in we must we must counterattack and so it it activates certain things that your body does to get rid of these 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 hidden uh, enemies and so if you can learn to calm your sympathetic nervous system then you find it easier to move into relation with these these things that you know the things that are, are attacking from the from the environment and you're able to control that allergic response and a lot of times an allergy is your body's confusion about the nature of the attack and since it if it doesn't understand the nature of the attack then it responds with a with a counterattack maybe in excess of what is necessary so by learning to to whenever you feel that coming on uh to start to go into resonance with it you know i gave an, an example earlier with about the uh if like if you're starting to sneeze and you go ah, 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 and you bring your awareness to the sneeze a lot of times the sneeze disappears and um, uh, so it's a similar thing with with the uh, with an allergy if you if you can really go into resonance with what's going on and as you're starting to feel your body activate your sympathetic nervous system starts to kick in on that pre-conscious level that fight flight freeze level and you say whoa 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 let's 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 take a look at this and you start to feel into it and then you can take over the controls of your sympathetic nervous system because anything you want to do in, in any kind of doing is going to require some sympathetic nervous system activity that's the go 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 part that's the that's the where any kind we're expressing energy we're going to activate that part of the nervous system it's part of the autonomic nervous system which controls most of the things which are happening at that pre-conscious level there's stuff that we we don't want to have to think about so if we can calm that down then we can allow the the parasympathetic to rest restore return to balance return to homeostasis so anything that we can do that brings us into a conscious awareness of feeling, a conscious awareness of doing, starts to tip that. So um, one thing I like to do whenever I'm feeling something like, you know, particularly if it's happening in the sinus area, is to really get in contact with my, uh, um, with, with this area by face. So there are acupuncture points here. You one right above your 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 pupils, right? And and then at the at the bridge of your nose, and then right here at the the base of your nose, right? So you got here, 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 and then and then uh, let's see how are we doing that? We're going boom, 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 boom. Uh, let's do it that way no let's do it this way and here we go that's it good so big index fingers here middle fingers here these guys here and then your thumbs on on the underside of your cheeks your cheekbones and then you just kind of breathe into that breathe into the nose and out to the mouth and just feel into that area and you're allowing yourself to contact your sinus area. And this is doing two things. First of all, the acupuncture points are creating some energetic connections there. 
But probably even more important is the fact that you are consciously feeling these points brings you into that control of your, your sympathetic nervous system. You start to slow things down. The other one is a really common one. It's a, uh, uh, right around here, behind us, like the second rib, there's a, uh, your thymus gland. And some people uh, will thump it. Like uh, I think Ken Cohen talked about going one and two and one and two and just going like that. But you can then that vibrates the thymus and it activates your your um, uh, your uh, immune system. So your thymus is a very important part of your immune system. I actually prefer in the case of of, of this to just feel it, just press in and feel, reach through your, your ribs and reach into the thymus with your intention and breathe. Because the thumping will activate it, which I think is, is moving in the opposite direction we wanna go. I think we wanna calm that that immune response so those are two things that i think will be helpful for for allergies and uh lynn you had some i just don't know exactly where the second rib is <laughs> can you so you got you got right here to the you got your clavicular notch here right that's your All top right. rib so get down about an inch Oh, okay. Okay. Got it. Thank there you. There you got it. Yeah. So, so yeah, you can, but you can feel, you, you can feel you're a woman and you're missing one anyway. Shush, Keith. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> the class cut up. Uh, <laughs> um, Let's see. Uh, so, so moving on. Um, hopefully, that's helpful there. Anything you can do, which is most of what everything we're doing in this thing, is learning how to to be able to take control of your autonomic nervous system, your pre-conscious mind, bringing that to consciousness, so that you can volitionally move through the world very present and aware and in harmony with your environment and by creating a bridge between you and your environment in whatever way you start to create a uh, a beneficial resonance there which is healing um so i think last week we were uh, talking about this is the last week of the week before the idea of bringing your hand on your on your skin right you're, so you can just kind of slide your hand over your skin and it's really not doing anything but if you actually press in so you actually feel the skin sliding over your muscles sliding over your muscles your bones your fascia everything like that you can feel that and when you do that, then pull on it and just feel that you can feel the energy that's being generated there. It also kicks in your connection on the, at the connective tissue system. So you press and you pull, right? So that getting that, that, that sense of connection there. And this is a, um, a way of, accessing gin so one of the things that you know I, I found very successful in in say a push hands context was to to be able to actually encounter someone and feel through their skin and into their skeleton their the the what's underneath that and as a result i'm able to make a, a deeper connection than if i'm just trying to 
you know, shove someone or punch someone or whatever. So in push hands, I just want to, I just want to feel that. And by doing that, I'm able to, to create a, a link there, which then allows me, first of all, to activate my gin. And second of all, to help to control the, the conversation that's happening with my partner. And, um, so that's pretty much how I, I came across it. It's like, oh, learning how to do that. It took me a while to figure out what exactly what I was doing, but I just, I knew it worked. And uh, so by, rather than just, just do, like say, if, you're, if I'm doing a push and just going like that, nothing's happening. But if I'm feeling and filling in there and then, and then moving, then there is a, we become part of one system. So many of us are not going to do much push hands and that's, and that's perfectly fine, but the same energy applies to everything. It applies to healing and it applies to your, you know, Taiji Chuan as a, a spiritual uh, path of spiritual investigation. Because what it is, is it's activating that deeper level of connection that enables us to, to click into the hidden energies, the internal power. So then we're shifting from movement as a, an interaction of muscles and bones and, and stuff and moving it more into feeling the internal energy and feeling using that to power the connection. So even if you don't plan on using it for fighting, I certainly don't, but it's there as a, as a resource that should you ever need it. It's still, every time you do your form, if you can, can activate that. So you know, we talked a few weeks ago, we talked about feeling the air, feeling the density of the air, because air does have a density. You know, it's got, you know, there's a certain atmospheric pressure is, is sort of a baseline, and then you can compress energy and have it fill up your car tires or whatever. So if you can feel the density of that and start to move and use your in communication with that, then you can create this internal power, which enables you to open up to new possibilities. So what I would like to do is to, actually what I'd like to do is first of all, see if there's any questions about that. We a lot of that's review, but uh, I wanna make sure everybody's uh, on board with that, with that idea. That, does that make sense? Everybody good, 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 good. Everybody's good. Okay, moving forward. So what I would like to do then is to uh, get Sherman and Mr. Peabody and hop in the Wayback Machine and go back to a set of exercises that we did a couple of years ago. And we may have done it a few times since, but we the foundation exercise, we called them. And I like to do those, but also bringing to them the knowledge, the Kung Fu that you have picked up in the last couple of years. And to really slow it way down and to isolate the hidden qualities in, in, in these, these very simple movements and to uh, to actually really focus on those. So um, uh, once you uh, stand up, Out. Okay, first thing I like to do is get the three pillars in. So 
to feel the balls of your feet. Unlock the knees. Feel yourself sinking down. Your legs are very soon. Reach with the crown of your head. Opening the jade pillow gate and lengthening your spine. Tuck in your chin. Relax your lower back. And drop your coccyx. Feel your coccyx dropping and at the same time you're reaching with the crown of your head. Feeling the polarity between the knee one at the crown of the head and the way Lu at the, at the coccyx. Opening up the jade pillow gate activates the Jing Shen the spirit of vitality. And you can feel it in your hands. They start to fill up. Feel your toes, press down with your toes and feel that. You don't have to linger there, but you just wanna make contact. Reach with the clavicular notch. Opening the chest, opening the shoulders. Feel your elbows and reach with that so your arms are slightly rounded, palms facing backward. Point with your index fingers. Feel the energetic connect, uh, energetic coherence throughout the whole body mind. Release the hip joint, spiraling down to the left, releasing down, spiraling down to the right, back to center. Reach with your elbows, feel your elbows, feel your wrists, and reach with your wrists extending, forward fingers dropping. Reach with the fingers. Rotate the forearms, palms up, and bend the arms so they're on a 45 degree angle. So you're setting the elbows, shoulders relax. We're taking the, sh the shoulders out of the picture here, and the action is very simple it's to just rotate the forearms so the palms face forward and then rotate back. Notice that the elbows are not moving. So I want to take the, uh, what we just played with there with the idea of, of, of feeling the skin there. So you just grab your wrist with your, your, you got your right hand reaching, your right, grab your right wrist with your left hand. How about we do that? And 
and just turn and just notice the what goes on whenever you try to turn. Notice how if you're resisting with your with your hand with the, your grip, notice how difficult that is to turn. And it's whenever we do it at a strictly muscular level, it's not going to be very powerful at all. But you want to feel, so now instead of just pushing through that, just rotate your, your hand back and forth and hold the, hold the wrist with your left hand and feel the skin moving across the, uh, the tissue there. And reach with your elbow, reach with your finger. And now feeling that. And after you feel that, then you just rotate and feel how much, how different that feels. You reach with that left, the right thumb as you turn over and just feel how, what a change that makes in your capacity to move. Because by doing that, you have, by just activating the gin there, you're, you're jumping out of your normal pre-conscious way of moving. And so you're feeling first and then doing. And that establishes your baseline of being prior to the doing. And so this is something is a very simple kind of exercise, but it brings a very important point there, which is something that we can then integrate into everything else we do. That is to be very aware of that feeling and then, and then the doing. And the feeling doesn't have to take long at all. It just, but it requires some training to get there. So if you now bring your both hands forward, and you want to, this time you're going to do it without the resistance of your other hand. You just want to feel, just rotate your hand, your hands back and forth, just rotate your forearms. So you want to feel that, that, that sense there, that, uh, you know, what that's like, and then rotate, reach with your thumbs so your palms face forward. Feel that and then rotate back, reach with your, your little fingers and come back. This time you're gonna do it and you're gonna feel the air, the air pressure as you rotate very slowly, elbows are set. Feel, reach with the little finger and rotate. Feel as though you are moving your hands to a swimming pool. Reach with the thumbs, feel and turn. Feel your index, little fingers and feel and turn. Very slowly continue this on your own now, just feeling into that, relaxing your shoulders. So we're learning to isolate the movement of our hands, our movement of our forearms, learning to separate that out from shoulder tension, which blocks the energetic flow. Feel and turn. Reach with the little finger and turn. Feel the space, feel the air. Notice that you're consciously overriding your shoulders desire to take over. And 
to school that. Rotate the palms and press down. Feel the resistance of the space as you're moving through it. Feel the energy in your hands. Now we're going to rotate with our arms down like this. Feel your index fingers. Move your, your forearms, feel into the space, feel into your, your body. Just feel that, just getting the sense of that. Feel the energy that's, that's filling up your hands, your forearms, your arms connecting all the way through your feet and into the earth and rotate very slowly, rotate your palms forward, reaching with the little fingers, feel, feel the sense of fullness in your hands. Reach with the thumbs and turn back. Reach with the little finger, rotate very slowly, very deliberately. Your forearms are doing the rotating, your elbows are set. Your shoulders are relaxed. Your arms are very soon. And rotate back. And hold. And just feel into the energy that's animating your, your body mind right now. Feel the whole body energetic connection. Rotate palms forward. Bow forward from the quad and reach with the wrists. Reach with the elbows. Rotate the forearms, palms down. Feel. Feel your elbows, your wrists, and press down. Feel the connection through your feet and into the earth. Rotate the forearms. Reach with the hands, the wrists. Reach with the elbows. Open. Rotate. Feel. 
rotating, feel that very deliberate, slow activation. Reach with the elbows, the wrists, press down. Feel the resistance of the earth as you do that. Rotate, arms forward. Before you move, just give it a little push and just feel, feel the viscosity of the space that you're moving through. You can feel it in the palms of your hands. And lift, feel. if you're moving through a swimming pool. And rotate. Elbows, wrists, press down. Feel the movement and stillness. And your right hand over your Dantian. And come up the center line. Up to your chest. Rotate your forearm, reaching out. Extending. Your left hand is on your Dantian. Feel your elbow, reach with your elbow, feel that and pull down. Feeling the viscosity of the air, the space as you pull down. Meanwhile, the left hand is rising, coming up the center line. Rotate and reach out, pressing forward. And that comes over the Dantian. Rising, coming up the center line and pulling down with the left hand. Reach out with the right hand. Left hand comes over the Dantian, up the center line. Right hand pulls down, feel, feel that viscosity, feel the resistance of the space as you're pulling through it. Uh, uh, feel that the left hand being activated by the right hand coming down. Body turns as you reach out. Left hand comes up, right hand pulls down. Reaching forward. Yeah, re 
maybe to the elbows. Feel each movement, each connection. Feel yourself sinking into your right leg as you reach forward with your left arm. Right hand comes up, spiraling down to the left as your right hand comes up, your left hand pulls down. to the right. Both hands come down. Let's feel into that whole body energetic connection. Feel the potentiality of energy throughout the whole system. Power down to the left and step in. Take a deep breath. Feel your arms as they rise. Feel the breath filling. Press down and feel. Disappearing the chi. Please have a seat. Rick. Now I know how the Colossus of Rhodes felt. <laughs> Felt big, did you? I, not only did I feel big when I when at the end there, when we were disappearing the tree, I, I tried to lift my foot. I was cemented. To, <laughs> it just, it came up with a pop. It was so tightly sunk. It was awesome. That Beautiful. Was Beautiful. Beautiful. That was juicy. Uh, yeah, Nick. So I've been... I've been noticing that uh, the more we do this, something I've been able to do intermittently in my practice is feel my pulse and select where in my body I want to feel it, right? Nice. Um, this is really ramping that up tremendously. It's, it's really, really cool. Beautiful. And I wanted to ask if anybody else had this at the first part of this when we were doing the grabbing the wrist and turning, right? When you actually, you know, if you grab firmly enough that you can still turn with your muscles, but you know, and then when you when you take that moment and and feel first and then and then reach and it's like it's like you suddenly have let go, even that you though you haven't, and it feels <laughs> like you're not doing it. <laughs> it's the only way I feel. <laughs> That's cool. Thanks. Yeah, terrific. Terrific. Jonathan. I think you're on mute, Jonathan. Yeah. I mean, I don't want to overuse that word awesome. I do. But uh, did I miss a class in the last 30 years where you showed us what you just showed us, what Nick was saying? For the first time, how to actually do push hands with yourself? 
I mean, that's kind of an amazing thing to be able to do. Because I mean, <laughs> without what you showed us, it's like, oh yeah, I'll get tighter. Oh yeah, well, I'll just, you know, it, it, it's an equal, it doesn't work. But if one hand is using a conventional muscle system and the other is doing your thing, it works. Right. That's, that's kind of awesome. <laughs> to be able to, <laughs> I don't know the possibilities here. Maybe I'll end up in a cave in a, in a week. But I mean, I, I mean <laughs> I'm suddenly I'm more self-sufficient. Anyway, thank you. <laughs> yeah, the way. Yeah, Rick. Yeah, the way I was going to describe it for Nick is it's like dancing with yourself, but you're Fred Astaire. You're Fred Astaire, Gene Kelly, you're both. And that's one of the things that the pandemic has allowed me to do. Your teaching in the pandemic has allowed me to interact with myself because I had nobody else else to do it with to the point where I'm, I'm a trusted partner at this point. So even when I'm doing this now, it's like both arms are going, awesome, let's go. Yeah. And work incredible. together as a team. Beautiful. Yeah, this 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 thing is it it really changes the game a bit. It it allows you to penetrate into you know, into inside and make that deeper connection, which it's real easy to kind of get stuck in your head and just kind of skate over the surface. But this says, no, no, we're going in, baby. And <laughs> and if you do that, if you establish that. As your first order of business, you've shifted into a super conscious state. And, you know, I, I was talking with uh, some students a couple of days ago about the, uh, uh, you have, a, it's the access door that you choose. If you choose to go in through the mental rational door, you go into a, a very small room, and it uh, you got a library there, and 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 that's nice, and and but you can't you can't get to the other place from there, you know it's it's it you're you're you've entered the world of abstraction, whereas if you go through the other door through the feeling door, then you have access to both. So that's that's the key. So if you you enter in through that, then you can think. You can think as much as you want when you're in that super conscious state. But if you access through the, through the rational mind, then you've closed everything down and you've separated out from it. You become an observer of yourself as well as, as, as your environment. And then you're, you've distanced yourself from that. So getting the going into the correct door <laughs> is will save you a lot of grief and and this is a way of, of helping you to get through the correct door yeah rick <laughs> the, way, the way i describe it is not the way your terms i always say the believing mind or the disbelieving mind and i always go with the believing mind because i because i'm an and guy i'm not an or guy so i don't want the closet or the universe i want the option of both <laughs> okay. Jonathan. I, I'm trying to get the relation between the feeling and the thumb. The, the thumb directing it alone seems so incredibly powerful as other than, you know, like I say, before tonight, I didn't think it was possible to authentically do this kind of push hands thing with yourself because, you know, it's muscle on muscle. But just by, just by, it seems, by leading with the thumb, it changes the game completely. So, I mean, how do you see that? How much is going on? It's such a different way of orienting to somebody's wrist to just lead with the thumb. It just, it's so simple. It, it feels really like nothing and it undoes everything. So, I, yeah, it, uh, yeah, it's something I've ta taught it for years. I know you have, that I'm aware of. Finger, and we've done it in this class here as well, but this puts it into a different context. Because then it was still, it was still a superficial move. Leave the thumb, right. leave the finger, right? right this one, right, like, right, oh right. no, no, I'm feeling first. So what's happening is we've shifted into the super conscious state, and now, oh, now we've taken that to that deeper level. So it's like, uh, it's it's not the same thing anymore. 
It's 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 a it's a whole different way of operating because then we're accessing a whole body whole body mind integration whenever we do that. Yeah, it's it's one thing for the teacher to teach; it's another thing for the student to learn. And teachers can get better at talking about this stuff too. <laughs> so I keep trying to figure think, figure out new ways of of expressing this so that so that. You know, people can make the jump with me and, and, and let's go. Peter, you had something. You're on, on mute, Peter. Rick, you are not a shitty teacher. Just yeah. gotta just tell you that. Thank you. I, I want that, <laughs> I'll put that on my bumper sticker. Not not a shitty teacher. <laughs> yeah, really. This um this is very rich and very interesting. It's and mysterious. Um I'm I'm it's connecting to a lot of dots, but one of the most interesting ones for me is doing that, having a, a little sense, you know, I don't have a direct awareness of a super conscious state, but I do have a sense of a sort of intelligent intention shifting from my head to the hand. The hand itself seems to have a, an intelligence operating in it. Uh, you know, I don't know if I would, I mean, it, there, I mean, it's, it, it makes a lot of sense that, um, that when you kind of get out, out of this cramped way of functioning, uh, your whole, your whole capacity spreads out and pervades your whole structure so that the, the intelligence and the, and the, and the yi, e rather, is is really happening in your in your hand. It's in dialogue with your mind or wherever it is. Well, I, I think what you just said there actually is a little closer to it because you said it's the whole system acting right. as one. So it's not right. the, head, the head or the hand. It's both. So whenever you get into that whole whole brain coherence, that body-mind integration, right. body-mind-spirit integration, there is no separation between the head and the hand. But it's also, yeah. it's, still, it's still interfacing with the, um, the spatially distributed structure. It's still sort of operating in space where this is over here and this is over here. And so it's sort of, you know, it, I mean, it's that same sort of inseparability thing. It's, you know, distinct but not separate the i mean it uh, you know, i'm not saying it very well but there you know it definitely has that that feeling you describe in your book something is happening i don't know what it is um you notice by the way uh peter do you notice that this and this are connected they're not separate they're connected you mean connected physically energetically through your, yeah, through your system through your spaceship the spaceship you're captaining. So in other words, I don't think of this as over here. I think of this, okay, this is also a part of me. So they're not separate to me. Right. And that's that's what the integration part of this is. It's like it's it there are separate systems. And when we think about it, we can isolate into the into their separateness. We can focus on their separateness, but whenever we activate the integration, there is no separation, never in wholeness. So the Taiji Chuan in its, in its, at its core is this dance between wholeness or oneness or integration and separation and polarity. So it's, it's the yin and yang are separated and then we have the Taiji, which is not. And there, there's this incredible dance that occurs there and we, only create energy by separating, but then we we integrate it and bring it back together again. So it's like this: there's a, a pulsing that is occurring in uh, throughout the practice. And what we're doing is we're taking something which is happening more or less on its own, and we're unplugging the computer, the computer, and we're putting it on on manual override, and we're saying, now we're going to do this now. We're going to drive the bus, and so that's the. Uh, I think that's that's the key there, that we uh, we're t 
taking control, conscious control of the pre-conscious. Rick, okay. if I may interrupt, that was a really great way to help me to understand this. Because as you know, and I'll like, let me lower my fucking hand here, by the way. Sorry for the cursing. Uh, but, uh, you know, you, you figure out, I've only been doing this for less than a year now. But I am really turned on by this. I'm turned on by more uh than the physical properties which is phenomenal to the mental properties and when you when you mention about everything's just got to be syncopated in hand that was a really great way to explain it you know I, i'm an old fucker but i'm still younger than you and i will be younger than you until you die so other than that you know it's just i am really enjoying like trying to learn along this path of being a yearling and looking forward to seeing you guys in Sedona. Doing great, Keith. You're doing great. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think it's time. The producers get pulling, the, giving me the hook here. So uh, uh, thank you all so much. Love you all. Thanks, Rick. Thank <laughs> you, Maria. Thank you, Maria. Thank you, Maria. Love you all. <laughs> Bye.